I'm in Charlotte Stratton here today to show you a five double bedroom period student house. Location wise, just to show you, I've got a row of commercial properties there. You can just see there's an off license. There's a bus stop as well, directly outside. We're in BH9, Charlotte Stratton Avenue. So you can just see there the front garden, plenty of parking at the front as well here. This house, the main feature I would say is the size. It is massive. So we're gonna start off here in bedroom one. Big bay window. There's just loads and loads of furniture in here. I've got to put my keys down, nice leather desk chair. Then we're gonna go into the lounge. Last thing is you've got a pull-out table and chairs here as well. Fully furnished throughout, double glazed and gas central heated. It's got a lovely staircase. Now, um, this would have been the fifth bedroom. It's currently not got a bed in it. The reason being is it's, it's actually let to four people this year, but if you're letting it as a five, this would be the fifth bedroom and you'd obviously have a double bed in here. Now, besides having the upstairs bathroom, you have got this downstairs cloakroom. And you've got the fridge freezers under the stairs. Take you through to this kitchen. There you go. And if you just see out there, that's the garden. Probably around 30, 40 feet. It's just been mowed as well. You have a separate toilet to the main bathroom now. If there's four or five of you sharing, having these separate toilets is so important. Because if someone's in the bathroom, you don't want that block from being used, an electric shower over the bath here as well. It's gonna go into bedroom three. This is a great room, loads of floor space in here. The desk sizes are really big as well. I must admit I do love that staircase. Walking around, I must say, you do just get, as I was saying earlier in the video, filling a space. Doesn't feel cramped in here. Room sizes feel great. Really, really good layout. And here's your final double. There you go, guys, you've seen it. That's Charminster Avenue. If you're looking for a big house, then you know what to do.